What's up? Patricia, what's going on? Y'all need to set your notifications because y'all don't know when I'm coming on here. When I feel it in my shine, nah, nah. Y'all just gonna get it. What's up, Elder? Shell, can't do nothing. Can't, you just can't. Can't, well, yeah, we're gonna talk about it. And if you, like, mm -mm, no, you can't join me right now. Later, all right, later. Don't worry, I'm coming on tomorrow morning, set your notification. Y'all laughing, I don't know what you're laughing at. We, we talking about Richard. Yeah, we're gonna talk about Richard right now. You know who Richard is? Huh? We're talking about Richard. We're gonna talk about Richard. We're going to talk, just can't. Everybody put just can't, just can't. We get ready to talk about Richard. Can we just talk about Richard right now? We're going to talk about Richard because Richard is driving all of you women crazy. Yeah, Richard. Michelle, Elder, you need to help a sister. Mm -mm. No, I'm just going to say it. Do you know that there, everyone has a name? There is a phrase name or there is a name associated with James is Jim. Richard is Dick. So, yeah, James is Jim. That's the acronym for James is Jim. And, and, and Richard is Dick. So that's who we're going to talk about today. Yeah? Yeah. No, oh, oh no. No, they going to get this work. We're going to talk about Dick. Yes, we are. We're going to talk about it. Because y'all letting Richard drive y'all crazy. Anytime I go on the news and I hear that a woman took the lives of her children over Richard, there is a problem. Anytime I hear a woman get in her vehicle, and she takes the lives of people and get 90 years over Richard, the eggplant. Yeah, we got a problem. Don't do it, Miss Silly. If you can't handle it, step away from Richard. In fact, some of you don't need it. I am so tired. Within a 48 to 72 hour span, women have lost their mind over Richard. Ain't no way in God's green earth. Oh hell! And I, I love my husband. Oh, I love him. I love him. Oh, I love me some Fred. But if y'all can't handle it, don't get involved. Yeah, Mother CC said I just can't. Don't even get involved. Ain't no way in the world you gonna take the lives of your kids and blame it on your baby daddy. Make that man. Ain't no way I'm gonna get in my car and get all of my freedom taken away over some dick. Oh no, we ain't doing that. No, 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 no. I know y'all got a problem with my verbiage, but I'm angry. Y'all have got to pull it together. It, 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 this is crazy. Y'all are losing your mind over Richard. You're losing your mind. If you can't handle the heat, don't go in the kitchen. How is it that you allow something to take your whole thought process, your mind, your psyche? It takes everything. I, I don't understand. This doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. You are allowing relations to make you crazy. You, you, you are. You are not. You, you can't think. You can't walk. You, you're like. You mean to tell me that you're gonna let somebody take away your freedom? You're gonna let you. You're gonna let sex a man? Oh, I don't know who you're involved with. You're gonna let it take away your freedom. This doesn't make sense to me. You're a registered nurse, so you do know how to think. And you're going to get in your vehicle and take the lives of people over a man? Oh, come on, y'all. I get a pass today. I, I, I will never break. Look, I, I get a pass today. You mean to tell me that you're going to go and take the lives of your kids? And then, what's his name? Jeremy? Jeremy over in New Orleans. Make it make sense. Y'all are losing your mind over Richard. It doesn't make sense. It, 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 it does make sense. Somebody said for five minutes of fun, you can't work. You can't even get your bearings straight. You can't finish school. You can't buy a house. You can't fix your credit. You can't take care of your kids. You take care of his kids before you take care of your own. You too busy stalking his ex, going over his mama house, getting Chinese food in the middle of the daggone rain. You too busy acting like a conundrum of nut cases. All because of Richard. Come on now. Y'all got to do better, ladies. Y'all got to do it. Well, it's easy for you to talk because you got a husband. I got a husband, but I ain't, I'm far from crazy. I got a husband, but I guarantee you, I guarantee you, if they cannot bring out the best in you, I sure wouldn't stick around and let them bring out the worst. 
And these people are bringing, y'all in people's, look, y'all in relationships with people who are bringing out the worst in y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lauren A says she gave up her whole life over a man. Y'all, if they don't bring out the best in you, don't you dare let them bring out the worst. And they're bringing out the worst in you and y'all say, what? okay, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, I get it, I get it. Let's go back to the scripture. Did I just say, yeah, the word Richard and Dick is the same two words. Please, come on, y'all can throw me under the bus. Right now, I'm tired. Let me help you with something. The Bible says that in the last day, they shall lay hold seven men to one woman. Seven Seven men to one woman. She will wear her own apparel. She will eat her own meat. As long as she is called by his name to take away her reproach. Reproach what? Having sex. That means as long as I can say I got a man. And I'm getting my back broke on a regular basis. As long as I got somebody, I'm good. Make that make sense. That don't make sense at all. So you mean to tell me I don't care what I got to do. As long as I got somebody to make me feel good, I'm good. But it's clear this ain't working. It's, it's clear. You mean to tell me. That you don't care what happens to you as long as you got somebody. And you won't get mad because he's seeing somebody else and you're going to let that take away your freedom. This doesn't make sense. And I know y'all don't like my verbiage, but listen to me. I'm helping somebody if I ain't helping nobody at all. It doesn't make any sense. You are a registered nurse. You're, ladies, you're smart. But how smart are you? Anytime you get involved with somebody. And you see they're taking the worst out of you. Why do you stay? So you can tell somebody, I got somebody. Oh, no, uh -uh, no, no. This ain't our segment of the message. The segment of the message that I need you to pay attention to is if you see somebody and your character is changing and you start to be mean, irritable, angry, you start to stalk them, be late at your job so you can go and stalk them and see if they at their job, go to their house, Climb over banisters, stalk his new girlfriend or the woman you think he involved with. Go over his mama house and sit while she go, because she know you ain't going to be there next week anyway. Then you got a problem. Y'all better start checking yourself anytime you get into a depression. Because you, watch this, because you want you, you want into depression because y'all broke up. You get you went into a whole depression and now you suicidal because y'all broke up. Make that make sense. You 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 gonna ruin your whole life over a man of a you gonna ruin your whole life over a relationship. You'll get in your car and you're gonna drive a hundred miles an hour because you having a bad you breaking up with somebody or somebody left you. If you don't get it together, then you're gonna go and take the this doesn't make sense. This, this doesn't make sense. Ladies, y'all gonna have to get it together. Let me help you with something. When you start acting cuckoo for cocoa pops. You know what happens? It justifies him leaving. He could be an abuser. He could be the worst person in the world. But the minute you start acting like a nut job, you know what happens? It justifies him talking about you like a dog in the first place. Because he says, look, I told you she was crazy. You better pay attention. If somebody is making you come out of character a little too much, you better take the great words of Forrest Grump and run, run, run. Run, Forrest, run. You do not mess with your livelihood, your character, your mental state. Watch this. And your place of business messing around with people in the wrong relationship. It's dangerous. And y'all so mesmerized by death. Until y'all can't even get it together. No, I'm not an overseer or a pastor or none of that today. I'm a real woman right now. Y'all act like y'all have no self-control. And you let Richard make you lose control. Ain't no way in the world I'm going to give up my livelihood for somebody. No. Ain't no way in the world you're going to take the lives of your kids over a man. that you lost your mind? You feed him before you feed your own kids. You'll go work three or four jobs to pay his car note and you take the bus. Make that make sense. Yeah, that's right. I talk to people all over the world. While y'all throw me under the bus and talking to maybe like three or four people, I'm talking to millions. You and I deal with women who are in a psychiatric ward over men. It to make it make sense. And I don't care. I love my husband and ain't no nigga in the world gonna make me go to nobody's psychiatric ward. No, I ain't doing it. There's something that y'all forget. Y'all forget who you are. 
And I'm telling you, this the, I'm, I don't even want to watch the news no more. I don't even want to watch it. Because if another chick lose her mind over Richard, I'm like, yo, forget it. 2,000 people will listen to me right now. I'm going to need you ladies to get it together. So what he left? So what he left? So what he left? So what? You know, with his Instagram, wherever he is on social media, and you found out he got somebody else. So what? You mean to tell me that's the end all be all for your life? You mean to tell me you're going to take your kid's life because all of a sudden he cheating on you? Come on, y'all. Now, I, I understand why some of the... Yo, y'all lucky I ain't a dude. Seriously. Oh, you lucky. Because I see how some of these dudes just be taking y'all just... just uh, We could do anything to them, but they don't care. They don't care. Because a man is not going to respect you when he realizes he got your mind. I watched this documentary years ago. And there was this pimp. His name was Phil Moore Slim. And it was called Pimps Up, Holes Down. Now, that, now, listen, don't judge me. This is the name of the documentary. Just Google it. You'll see I'm not lying. I don't practice lying. And, and the girl, unfortunately, she was a prostitute. And what she said was she had contracted a venereal disease. And she said she was in the hospital in a bed. And she said, I got to get up out of here and go get my daddy's money. When this girl had contracted all type of diseases, her mindset was getting back on the street, going to get her pimp's money. That's what's happened to a lot of y'all. But y'all just in relationships. You do whatever you got to do to please them and let your whole house go to hell in a handbasket. Your kids don't even have, but you make sure he got, y'all got to get it together. So you mean to tell me that everything that you ask God for, you think you ready for? No, you ain't. You can't even deal with a two-minute heart. You done lost your mind because you, your Lord, Jesus, Father God, and the name of Jesus, I need you, please send me a husband. I don't care if it's her husband or not. Just send me somebody. Get up off your knees and stop praying. Please. Don't pray that prayer because you ain't ready. Because God can't even trust you. He, he, look, he can't even trust you. He can't even trust you. He can't even. You stop going to church. You stop praying. You stop paying your bills. You let everything go away. Everything. Your, your business is failing. You don't even know that. I know this one girl in Atlanta, Georgia. She got cancer. Don't know this joker from a can of paint. And now he on her way, he in her wheel. And you just met the joker. You don't even know him. And now he's sitting up there with your family meetings because you found somebody. You don't even know him a good month. But now you got cancer. And now he handling your affairs. And you got a daughter. Make it make sense. This doesn't make sense. 2,200 people on the sound of my voice. Make this junk make sense. Y'all have lost y'all's mind. Y'all need to go somewhere, find you a psychiatrist, and ask them, why am I so desperate and dumb? Why am I so desperate until I take a two-minute hump and I've lost my mind, all sobriety, and even my children are saying, yo, what's wrong with mom? What's going on with her? This is stupid. This don't make no sense. You done lost your whole life. You done lost your whole life. You done got this is your fault, Jerome. What's his name? Jermaine, Jerome. And you done took your kid's life and breath. Man, yo, this stuff don't make sense. All this, because women cannot have, you don't have no self-control. You ain't got no self no, You don't have no self-control. Let me tell you something. I wish I could bottle up my DNA. Oh, I wish I could bottle it up. I wish I could, my mother was going up the timeline. I wish I could bottle up my DNA. Because truth be told, I love my husband. Ain't nobody coming before him. Ain't nobody going, coming out. We've made a conscious decision. We're going to be together. But if anything ever happened to Fred, I trust and believe. I'm not taking my life. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Same thing to him. Y'all are losing your mind over the eggplant. You lose, People lost businesses. You done lost your house. You lost your house. I, I talk to people all the time. You lost your house. You lost your house. You used to have good credit. You did. Stop lying because you know you did. You had good credit. You got involved with that joker. You down to a four. You done bought him a car and lost yours. This don't make no sense. Someone said, I'm the real deal. This is what it is. It don't make no sense. You used to keep yourself up. You did. You sure did. You used to be, you used to be bad. You got involved with him. Never mind. I don't know who you are. You done turned into Quasimodo and Fiona overnight. Mess with somebody that took your mind. Make this make sense. Y'all are losing yourself over debt. Y'all don't like what I'm saying? I'm not taking nothing down. Y'all losing your mind. This girl was a registered nurse. 
She should have been somewhere in a psychiatric facility getting her mind right. But instead, she's looking at 90 years in prison simply because she broke up with somebody. This girl over in New Orleans losing, lost her kids and now she in prison for the rest of her life over a guy? Come on, man. Y'all y'all breaking my... You're breaking my heart, Smalls. You're breaking my heart. 2,300 people, y'all are breaking my heart. Ladies, ain't no brothers gonna take y'all serious. Cause y'all already acting like a joke because he's testing your mental state. He wanna know how you handle a situation where I don't come home at night. Or how do you handle me not picking up the phone? How do you handle me not coming over when I say so? And he looking to see if you mentally stable enough to handle a relationship. And some of y'all are not mentally stable enough to handle a relationship. He watching you. He watching you. He want to know. You know, it, it doesn't make any sense. I'm so tired of women going up and down social media that are wigged out over Richard the Day. I'm tired. Y'all breaking my heart, Smalls. You praying and asking God for something that you can't even handle. I'm going to need y'all to have several seats. It don't make no, someone said no lie detected here. Whether they like it or not, this is what it is. Y'all women need help. Men, you do too. But right now, I'm talking to the ladies. That's Fred's segment of the message. If you women don't go somewhere and get you some help and sit on the couch, because a lot of us had daddy issues. I'm saying that because I had daddy issues too. A lot of you got daddy issues. You do. A lot of you ain't ready to be in a relationship. You want him to fix what daddy did. A lot of y'all ain't ready for that. A lot of y'all are blaming the ex for the next and the next for the ex. Y'all not ready. I tell you all the time. You got to be a better hoe before you can be somebody else's half. And y'all killing me, Smalls. This woman's whole life could have been amazingly well if she would have been like, nah, I ain't doing that. Y'all better pay attention. Anytime somebody bringing out the worst in you, you need to say, nah, you got to get up out of here. Because before... I let you bring out the worst of me. I'll be by myself and it's okay. I mean, let's be real. You know, what's up, Tanya? How you doing? Let's be real. I just wasn't any type of chick. I mean, everybody know I'm from Brooklyn, but I was that chick that, you know, I was like a pretty dude. I didn't get caught up. I, I, I didn't get, I had a button. Next. What? Not next. And the reason why I was that way is because I saw my mother be abused. And when I saw my mother abused, I said to myself, I am not going to be like that. I love my mother, 2,500 people, but I do not want to be like my mother. I don't want to take a fist because my heart is involved. Some of your heart is involved where your mind should make a decision. And some of you can't even move forward because you're so mesmerized, digmatized, or whatever it is that you say you are. And God himself is saying, Paul, Paul, little tink tink. Nah, they ain't ready. You ain't ready. You ain't ready. You have to understand. Anytime you take any level of abuse, not shame on them, shame on you. Because you got to say, why am I dealing with this? Why am I dealing? I'm in the IMN, the OBGYN, yet again, with another venereal disease. Why are you dealing with somebody and trying to make somebody love you that just doesn't have the capacity to love you? Some men just ain't going to love you, baby, not because it's you, because it ain't your brother. Some men ain't going to love you because they said, look, we got kids together. I don't love you, but I'm trying to hang in there for the kids. No matter what it is, you got to make a conscious decision. Uh, does this person love me? And if they don't, you got to do something. Before you let them bring out the worst in you, you better get out. Get out. I refuse to let anybody bring out the worst in me. I refuse to. I've been there, done that, bought the t-shirt. I was in Delaney Hall and, and, and South Orange Municipal Court over and over and over again. Why? Because I realized something. I realized that those individuals were not good for me. Before I let you bring out the worst in me, I hit the bricks and be by myself. Ladies, y'all got to get it together. I know y'all don't like me and y'all don't like my verbiage, but it's okay because sometimes you just got to keep it real. That's all I know. I only know real. The only thing fake on me is my hair and my nails, and I'm good with that, and so is my husband. But I'm telling you something. If you cannot bring out the best in me, if you cannot bring out the best in me, I will not stick around and watch you bring out the worst. I'm going to need y'all to get it together. Don't stay with nobody because you feel like you can't get nobody else. 
Don't stay with nobody because you afraid and you old and, and you, 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 you can't get nobody. I say this all the time. I would rather see children live in a household with one parent than two people tearing each other apart. Because who's going to pay that price? That child. Right now, there's a whole family paying a price because some woman's heart was involved with the wrong person. I don't know the whole story. Right now in New Orleans, they get ready to bury these kids because why? A girl's heart was involved when a mind should be making a choice. I'm talking to my ladies right now. Let your mind make choices that your heart is foolishly deceiving you because your heart is deceitful. The word of God says it is. It don't know how to make decisions because it's emotionally involved. Let your brain work it. If it don't work, Go somewhere and let somebody fix it so that you won't be on the news and you won't look foolish. I'm going to say this. Stay out of married people's business. If people are in a relationship and they don't want to take your wise counsel, don't let them dump on you no more. Because grown folk going to do what grown folk want to do. And it ain't got nothing to do with you. You can lay on the floor, he can Messiah, you, pray fast, lay prostrate, and go like in it. Folks' feelings always get them in trouble. And before you get yours hurt, Send them to the nearest psychiatrist and tell them you got to do something because this is not good for you. Even your kids know that. This don't make no sense. I'm so done. Bye.